All right, Saints, March 21st, 2020. As the sun is behind me, over my shoulder, how timely and important and vital is that, prophetically speaking? I'm trying to get it. Yeah. Um, going into or coming into the 2020 year, uh, the Lord began to reveal to me what would uh, some things that would begin to transpire uh, in this season of our journey here in the earth, particularly what men have deemed in this country the year 2020. And so we said it would be a year of clear vision, particularly for our ministry before the remnant saints, a year of clear vision um, and uh, actually growth, um, growing spiritually as well. But one of the things that uh, he was showing me, and we, we, prof we prophesied many things coming into the new year, uh, into the first quarter of 2020. Some are up on YouTube and uh, many others are not uh, on social media. They're just on MP3 or um, the remnant saints that were present were able to be a part of those uh, prophetic utterances. But one of the things that uh, during, uh, you know, February, I think it was, um, that we uttered, and then I think there's a YouTube video where I may have uttered it as well, and uh, some of my my uh, sons in the ministry are uh, looking for that uh, utterance so we can place it on social media. But um, uh, as I was walking daily, we walk these 10, 12 miles every day, a time of worship and fellowship and prayer, and also um, bodily exercise time and time where I could really just fellowship with the most high um i was walking one day and there was a um it was it was it was uh the sun was beaming and it had to have been maybe february it was, it was a stretch that we had here where it was unseasonably unusually hot here uh, again february of 2020 I, I, I believe maybe and um as i was walking the sun seemed to have just um focused this direct attention on my forehead as I was walking. I, I was just right walking into the sun and I could not seem to avoid it. And um, all of a sudden it just began to burn into my forehead and uh, frustration settled in. I was trying to duck it and look for some shade, momentary shade and just to get out of the sun because it became overwhelmingly aggravating to me um, and blinding and in that moment, uh, the Lord spoke to me and said that this summer, 2020, would be um, if one of the, one of the top three, but if not, uh, it would be the hottest um, summer recorded in the history since they've been calculating um, temperatures over summer periods. So. This summer would be one of the, I'm going to say the hottest recorded. This summer will go down as the hottest, the hottest, second hottest. But I'm going to say the hottest summer um, to date. It, it, it will be documented as such and reported that this summer was the hottest summer to date. And it's a sign. And what I also saw in the spirit realm was that adults grown grown men women adults would actually cry this summer due to the heat they would actually cry and as i was walking and i couldn't avoid the sun i was so frustrated that i just a spirit of weeping came over me and i saw summer of 2020 would be extremely hot tumultuous heat and people would actually just just stand around looking like they couldn't breathe and they they just started just crying because there was nothing they could do about it. And this would be a sign and a foretaste that we're entering into um, uh, tribulation, uh, another phase of it and the judgment of the most high. It will cause the weather to shift worldwide. You'll hear of glaciers melting. Obviously it will be hot in regions, um, excessively hot in regions around the world that are normally not 
you know, as hot. And um, you're going to see a tremendous weather pattern shifts starting this summer. So look for July, even into August, um, just blazing, blazing heat and uh, taxing the grid, taxing on uh, power. And um, it will it will spark and um, uh, cause a shifting so that following it would be a tremendously harsh winter in certain areas. And, um, but just gear yourself up to know that when you see and feel this heat and you begin to see and read and see on the news where people are literally just crying, crying uh, because of the heat, just know that it is a foretaste and just another foreshadow of the fervent heat in which the earth uh, will eventually be judged according to the epistle of Peter, but it's coming to fiery trials, um, which are to try mankind. It is going to be a foretaste of the fiery trials and many will weep and many shall not escape the sun, the, 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 the focus that the sun and the pressure that will be put on because of these days. These are the days to try men's souls. So I love you and be prayerful and open um, your hearts and minds to the prophetic. These are the last days he's pouring his spirit out upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions according to Joel 2.28 and also according to Peter in uh, the book of Acts. I'm sorry, uh, chapter two, all right? We love you. Be encouraged.